piece of music, the first thing I do is zoom in on the hardest part and figure that out. So on this page, that's definitely the 32nd notes on the third line. And we also have some sneaky 32nd notes. You see that sideways S in the first measure of the second line? That is exactly what's written out in the third line. Let me show you. One and two, and a three and one. That sideways S is called a turn because you're turning around the note by going above it and below it. It's just a decoration on the A. To make this passage a little bit easier, I recommend using the trill E flat fingering on the right. I don't use this E flat fingering very often, but it can make these 30 second notes much easier for you. to the B flat, you need to flick or vent the B flat. So hold down that fourth key up from the whisper key. Now it's time to drill with the metronome. And you slowly increase the tempo little by little. So if you jump from 80 to 92, and 92 feels very frantic, try 84, try 88. So you can increase by little tiny bits, and you're still getting faster. So as I was increasing the tempo, those were all my eighth notes. Now this is going to be my quarter note. <clears throat> We're still nine clicks under that marked tempo. This is that marked tempo. <laughs> to me, that feels too fast. So when I performed it for you, I played it all at dotted quarter, or sorry, quarter note equals 69. <laughs> It is still fast, 
but I think it's more doable at 69. And it's not a huge difference between the marked tempo, but if you can play these turns consistently at 72, go for it. But you don't want to play this piece any faster than you can play the fastest notes. Another thing that might not be familiar in this piece are the grace notes. So that's those E flats that are tiny with the little slash through them. Basically, those should be played right before the beat. Next, we're gonna look at the triplets on the second line, especially where they change from triplet subdivision to eighth note subdivision in the fourth measure of that line. Something that helps get those subdivisions going on the long notes is to practice with imaginary articulations. So on that first low G, that quarter note has three triplet eighths inside of it. So that would sound like. By playing those dun 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 dun, that ensures that my low G is long enough and not too long. take away those articulations, I am thinking what I just played. And then in that next measure, you switch back to eighth note subdivisions. So on the half whole G, you can think two and three and thumb. difficult at first, so try saying it with the metronome. One and two lot lead, three lot lead, one. One and triple it, triple it, one. Then try playing it. Going on on the third line, you've got this series of off beats. Three, one, and, 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 one, two, ba da 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 dee dum So you can add some imaginary articulations to make sure your quarter notes are long enough. Every quarter note has two eighths inside of it. spots. A lot of this is playing with great dynamics and playing a really smooth legato. So in the opening phrase, you don't want to breathe until measure four. So that first four bars is one long phrase. <laughs> forte. So the first four is piano, and then suddenly you open up on that D. Make sure to plan your breaths in the second half of this because you need lots of air to get through these long phrases. So I take a really big breath before the double bar, and then a really big breath at that quarter note rest on the second to last line. Um, in red, those are the breaths I took in my performance. Um, and I would recommend the breath after the half hold G on that third line. That might be a better place than the after the A. That's what the, those are in parentheses, is you can do either. Um, in green, I circled that forte on the last line. Needs to be very full, lots of sound and that little retard on the line before just relaxes into that D. Happy practicing. <laughs>